Alex, at the seminar you did with Glenn. Did that in Florida, Shanko Complex. There's three hang cleans. I can I can barely hear you, Kelly. I think your mic is a little. Can you hear me okay now? Oh, there you yeah. go. There you go. Yeah. The uh, Shanko Complex has three hang pull, uh, three hang pulls, one hang clean. And uh, the tough bit after that, once you're tired, is two jerks. Mm. Mm-hmm. Little tip if you're going after that jerk and that jerk is troubling you. For one thing, it may not be the jerk that's holding you back. You could probably pay more attention to that clean. That's what that complex helps you focus on. After doing three heavy pulls, you really got to dial it in and time it right and get that clean perfect because if... It's an easy clean, more than likely it'll be an easy jerk. And then whenever you're jerking from the rack, Papa Jay have always pushed you to go 15 kilos more out of the rack what you're intending to clean and jerk. So if you're chasing down a 200 kilo clean and jerk, um, challenge yourself to uh, jerk out of the rack 15 kilos more 215 to make that happen. I always liked another route uh, which that route is, is great, it's fine, but I always thought if you can jerk it for a double out of the rack, you can clean and jerk it. You can mm. jerk it after a clean. Yeah, that good. negative, that negative on a double in the, in the shingle complex and that negative on the double for the jerk out of the rack will set you up really strong for uh, any PR clean and jerk that you have lined up. So give that a go. Yeah, just the mental aspect, right? And then the jerk, the jerk itself, if you, you got to keep the jerk, 99% of the jerk is all about keeping it straight, straight up and down. Mm. If you can keep that jerk straight up and down, and of course, get that leg drive out of it on top of an easy clean, you're going to make that jerk. But if that jerk wavers, if that jerk goes, to the, if that dip in the jerk goes to the toes, or you're not balanced over the center of your feet perfectly, you're more than likely going to miss it. So easy, clean, easy jerk, and keep that jerk straight. <clears throat> Brian? I mean, that's gold right there for me. Well, the, now we're taking notes over here. Yeah, I, uh, the, the number one thing, when you told us in Florida that fi- that literally fixed my jerk problems. No, I did. Was uh, when, I, when, I, when I jerked, the only, what I think about... Mostly, and if I think about this, I don't have a problem. Is right f- foot back? You know, the foot that I'm that I that I like kick back. Get that foot all the way back, and if I think about that, make sure I fully extend correctly. Mm. That's something that helped me too. for years. For years, I used to jerk, always thinking about my lead foot reaching mm. with the lead foot. That's that's. It's no good. When you jerk, think about reaching with the back foot. Yes, that's it. This will help you. This will help pull yourself under the bar, especially if you get that back knee down. Do you have to get the back knee down? Well, for the vast majority of lifters, it's important to concentrate on reaching with the back foot and getting the back knee down. But flexibility is one of the key attributes in lifting. So if you have good ankle flexibility, it may not be so much of a concern for you. I had really good ankle flexibility. John has really good ankle flexibility. So you'll notice that the back knee on the jerk necessarily for really good lifters with that kind of flexibility doesn't have to be followed to a T, but it's still good to teach it and to try to get that back knee down or or think mm-hmm. reaching with the back foot to help get you under the jerk. It's not about pushing the bar up over your head in the jerk. If you start thinking of pushing the bar up above, up above up above your head in a jerk, nine times out of ten, you're probably gonna think fail. about pressing that pressing that jerk out and fail that lift. Press it out, no problem with lighter weights, but once you start getting to ninety percent and above, you're not mm-hmm. gonna press out those maximum weights and you're not gonna get white lights anyway. So instead of thinking about pushing the bar up, think about pushing yourself down. Yep. That's good. Yeah, yeah that when I came to Glenn, Donnie, <clears throat> or when I came to you, I'm sorry, the, uh, to, to Cal Strength, I, my my split was always like 80% of my weight was on my front leg and only probably about 20%, right, was on the back. 
And that was soon fixed with time and effort. Mm-hmm. Going more 60, 40, 60 percent on the on the front foot, 40 percent on the back. You know, even at times 50, 50. You know, Glenn was a big 60, 40 guy. If we can get 50, 50, great. But I think a lot of lifters are more 80, 20 with that back leg being too straight. Those knee, that back knee not wanting to to right. bend and those hips not wanting to descend a little bit more and that push under that you talk about. And when you were coaching at the seminar in Florida, Donnie, it just changed so many so many people's lifting like Brian with that stepping that back foot, you know, bending that knee and feeling mm-hmm. that weight, you know, on that back ankle. It's just it's a beautiful thing. Oh man, let me tell you what, like it gave me a confidence now, you know. When you can find something in the in the moment like now, like I've I've got another key thought in uh in my I know this is Bible podcast, but in my my snatch and clean now where I think about because extending my knees right on the clean in the in the snatch and when you said think when you gave me something to think about which is a, a fundamental part of the lift it gave me a confidence like never before and i was able to go what when we had the freedom finals i just i smoked all my jerks right all the way up to 46 and so which is super and so it's a great it was a great 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 uh a tip if you're if you're smoking all your jerks in competition, but you notice a pattern that you're missing your last jerk consistently in meets, pretty much you've got it dialed down. Now we just have to build some reserve strength, mm-hmm. act, overload it, maximize it, and that's where that shankle complex or jerks from the rack or heavy jerks from the blocks will begin to come and come into play. You know, 